Hi everybody and welcome to October 2016 and dear Libra, happy happy birthday! Libra is an air sign. That's why I'm here uh, at the Zurich airport and I'm filming right now here and uh, the sign of Libra is symbolizing diplomacy, the perfect balance and also beauty and harmony and uh, without the perfect balance uh, no big plane like those here would ever fly in the air Now we come to you, dear Libra. So, what has the month of October in store for you? Um, we have here the whole month in different parts, as usual. And uh, so, here we go with the first part of October from the 1st to the 10th of October. How are you physically and emotionally? And we have here basically the Three of Wands. So, in the traditional tarot, um, the card here from Dorian Virtue. I'm um, again uh, working with the uh, Angel Terror of Dorian Virtue. So um, she and um, yeah, she actually actually um, is also working with the traditional tarot, but is just renaming the cards here and just um, making it as uh, angel cards here, right? And uh, just that is just the meaning that in your health area, so that could be your psyche, that could be um, everything that has to do or is related to your body and your health and also well-being, right? So you are on a very good way. For example, when you're like dying oh I don't know if I really reach this weight loss here or I really don't know if I really can uh, be healed in a way and I really don't know if um, if I uh, yeah if if I really make the steps here and if I really um, if I'm really on track or something so this card is just uh, saying that you are um, you're really climbing um, the halfway already and even more. So you are on a very good way. Sometimes we just have the feeling, oh my gosh, so the, the goal is just so much far away and I will never reach my goal here. Whatever your goal is, here okay uh, whatever it is I mean for some Libras that could be just any sports stuff or just um, yeah any kind of um, moving more or just uh, losing that weight stuff like this for the other ones that could be some skin issues okay um, for other Libras that could be really some some more problems but it just depends on and of course we are all different so these are just general tendencies a general reading here if you would like to have more information then please also check out your ascendant sign and your moon sign and then you will have a whole picture of more whole more picture um if you want to um uh, that it resonates with you on an uh, individual level so please contact me and we can also make um an appointment then here by phone or uh, whatsapp and uh, yeah so this is actually just you you really are on track even if it feels like that you have really a lot of way to go okay and this is also a fire card <laughs> so that means that really stuff is in movement and uh, if you have any any issues here that could be that you just move here a lot more than to other times and uh, maybe you just do here more sports or stuff like that in your job sector we have 15 oh my gosh so <laughs> this is actually in the traditional term of the devil and the devil is actually saying all right i mean you can have here some money you can make some money this is not the deal but um is it really the right way and are you maybe um suffering here uh, a little bit or are you sacrificing something um for the money or for your job uh, in order to make this money or to climb this ladder or stuff like this so this could be just uh, different issues here okay uh, for some people money is that everything and you don't see any love any any partnerships anymore any friends anymore and you're just like really working too much yeah 
or other people are just sacrificing for the work and for the money just other uh, other things on the other hand that could be also like um being trapped in a way or just feeling trapped or just um working in an environment what's what's mentally really not not so good is for you and what uh, what actually makes you Poo. yeah sad in a way or you just feel like um in a kind of prison pri or something like this okay so everything that really uh, takes your freedom away the point is here and Dorian virtue is here saying really 15 entscheidung so i mean the cards here they are bought in the swiss german <laughs> swiss germ um in the German Switzerland, okay, German part of Switzerland, and um, it's written in German language, but um, the pictures are ev everywhere, all over the world, the same. And this is really like um, decision. Entscheidung means decision. Really make a decision um, in a way to balance your life here, okay. But this is just a trend actually for the first 10 days here. Here are um, just areas in your life that you are just doing, like for example, a hobby or something, something like um, artistic stuff, or you make some charity here. So everything that you just do a few few hours per week, let's say, that could be also some extra money from work or something. And here um, is lying a lot of stability. So that could be that you start here something new that you always dreamed of, and that gives you. Um, a lot of more confidence that could be in any kind of sport or something that gives you really more confidence with your body for example that could be also um, starting um, a little business maybe with a hobby that you actually really love doing and if if it's, um, it's just stuff like that, that could be also lying here some money for you, yeah? That could be also a start to make some big money in the future. But you must imagine this card is more like a little plant and you have to nurture it and give it some water and then it will be after a few years a plant, okay? So this is the idea of this card, Ace Area here. This is actually the, the same like the Ace of Pentacles here in the traditional tarot. Okay, um, for the, for some of you who are um, searching for some mini job or anything like that, that could be also a good chance to make here some money. Okay, uh, it could be that you are actually struggling here with your job situation in a way, and you uh, just move more into into this uh, this area. But this this could be really a good idea because the money is lying here very good. And if it's not about money, or if you are giving money to to something, then um, the investigation is also quite positive here in this area. And it could be also very fruitful if it's any kind of hobby or just any kind of um, yeah arts what you're doing or something. Uh, this is also a very good uh, positive tendency to to do so here. We have here in your love life something is coming to an end. Hmm. Maybe a relationship, or maybe this is just a transformation that you just uh, are thinking like, okay, I don't wanna, I just wanna be more, more loved, or just give more love, and what can I do it to uh, just in order to uh, have a better love life? That could be just transformations in this area here. Yeah, um, maybe you transform a kind of issue within yourself, maybe with your self-esteem, okay, or maybe with any kind of stuff that you were dealing years and years and years, and maybe those stuff is really, really coming to an end. That can be really psychologically, okay, that can be really on an emotional level. I see that something is ending here, so that could be that you are maybe met somebody and then you figure out like, okay, it really doesn't work out here. That could be the case. Um, yeah. So I just check it out. What will be for the single ladies? For the single ladies. Single ladies, that could be that you really try to um, try to keep somebody or just try to keep something. And um, maybe you have also too, too many strict ideas for, for something uh, that maybe stuff should be like this or like that. And... Um, that's not all, always a good idea when you really have to let go. So this is really a card of letting go. Just check out what should you let go here. Is it an idea? Is it maybe a partner? Or is it a behavior? Or is it maybe a thinking within yourself? Thinking about you, about the world or any kind of stuff. This is just letting go and maybe really analyzing what is 
the the case here okay maybe you hold too much on on people in your environment or just on any ideas okay because there are people in in your environment which are yeah quite passionate or you feel very passionate and drawn to them here but the the idea is really to let something go mm -hmm. what about the coupled ones okay for the coupled ladies king of wands yeah the family i think the coupled libras and so on are in a very stable and good environment and also with a lot of passion that could be that you will feel really a lot more passion here for everybody okay yeah and for the man it could be that you actually don't care so much for love here but there are some opportunities to actually find interesting women or interesting men. So it doesn't matter. I mean, if you are homosexual or just heterosexual, in, um, it really doesn't matter. This is just a very general for you all, of course. Okay. So. But it's just, you know, when, when, when you're a, a woman and a single lady, it's really like letting go of something. I really see that a lot, a lot for you. Okay. And also general for the single man. It doesn't matter if you, um, you know, if you love men or women here. This is just also for the single man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here are the people in your environment. And the people in your environment, so the chariot. This is the, the, the chariot card, actually. And this is just saying that uh, the, the people in your environment are very passionate. They are very active here. And you can really make some movements here with them. And they can really fall into those all those areas here, okay? So uh, that could be in your love life, of course, because there there is uh, going on some passion also. Even though the, the the main issue is really letting go of something. Um, and they can be also active in your workspace as well. Okay. We move now to the middle of the month of October from the... 10th to the 20th we have in your wellness stuff two areas and that means bal balance so um this this is an unstable situation for example if you had yesterday some pain you you are good today and tomorrow you will you don't know how it will be okay this is very unstable or for example um you don't know if you if your skin will will be better today or worse tomorrow or, or the day after this is like really don't know that this is one day is good and the other one and the other days um it's worth yeah so it's um it's really you have to really with your uh, affirmations with your prayers just pray to the angels this is such a good advice i swear i'm doing that on my own it's like uh, when i want to just need some help i just ask them please help me in this issue because i really have no direction here and they always helping out i mean um but you have to listen carefully sometimes it's just a thought that you think and this thought you you never thought before okay so that could be also in the system that that really a thought is coming to you or you have a dream okay um you really have to affirmate the situation into something positive or really put more effort in that what you want to reach here so this is really up to you because the tendency is one day like that and the other day just uh, different okay and that doesn't matter here if you are um, healthy or if you have more issues than than on other day this is very similar okay we have in your job the magician oh that could be that somebody a magician very creative person is coming to your workspace and really um changing is changing his structures in a way or having uh, really good ideas here new ideas or you yourself uh, start to be self-employed here and really do stuff on your own and and really uh, this is really a good good uh, chance to really manifest whatever you want and you like i have the feeling that you really have the energy here and you really have the possibilities to do so okay this will be a time of new ideas. What about money? Ah, yeah. It could be that this magician 
is the same guy like this guy here on the photo. This is the king of pentacles here. So this is my own card deck. This is uh, also a tarot deck. And I did the cards on my own. You know, and I chose the pictures. Um, the pentacle cards here in my deck uh, are very, yeah, very traditional, actually. Like, you know, these old pictures from older times. Paintings, yeah, paintings. It could be that really somebody uh, comes into your life with new ideas and new opportunities and really is helping you. With money, um, for example, also very much. Okay, and uh, the card is also saying that um, you maybe just do whatever you like, what you want, and you can succeed in that. And this is very, very cool. For everybody who is in an um, artistic job or something, yeah, creative business, creative area, that's also very positive. Because it's very creative here. Okay. We have here... Um, in your little areas, your projects, um, you have a lot of some, um, lot of sorrows going on here. Sleepless nights. Maybe you are afraid of something. Maybe you are afraid um, of people surrounding you in this project. What you're doing here. Um, the point is just please um, check out if um, if you really have um, reasons to. Um, to suffering here so much and for for those um, insecurities here and in, uh, and anxieties even um, because it, that could be just um, more thinking than really reality here what about little jobs for example okay so you can actually find something through other people if you are searching for a little job to make some money so this is like really telling that that you need a job and then somebody will hire you maybe or just give you a very good tip how to do so. And here again is a man. So I think that the money is coming through men to the ladies, for example, or just in another way, in another direction, but just money through men. Yeah, that could be advisors, that could be clients or that could be also family members here. OK, what about creativity? Yeah, you're very creative and you really know what you do, but you have to be patient with your creativity and really keep on working on that. And just don't think too much. Okay. Uh, creativity is also children and pregnancy. Because this is the cr um, creative art that we are do doing as human beings on Earth, our children. Yeah, this is also a definition. And I have the feeling that you actually, I don't know, that just came into my mind that some of you could doubt because of uh, a pregnancy and you don't know if this child will be healthy. That could be also um, a direction like saying this card that um, some of you could be pregnant here. <laughs> and we have here again the three of wands. Guys, you are on a good way. You have to really keep on doing what you have to do here. Whatever this project, this creativity is. Just keep on doing the work or everything that you have to do in the pregnancy. Like... Being having a healthy lifestyle, okay? Stuff like this. Not to smoke, not to drink, anything like this, okay? I mean, this is clear, but anyways, there are a lot of women, <laughs> even um, that would just know those stuff, just uh, keep on doing that, yeah? <laughs> I mean, but um, this is just like that, what um, the cards are telling me now, okay? So really don't, don't, uh, don't suffer and um, don't have these sleepless nights. Don't think too much about that. Just keep on doing the right thing and everything will be all right. This is just really saying it. Yeah. Yeah. And you will set yourself free here. Okay. <laughs> trust yourself and just trust the life. The life just, you know, through... Um, yeah, it's just happening and everything will be all right here. Okay. Yeah, we have your love life and your love life, you are madly in love. But that could be also the danger that maybe this love that you that you want to have in your life 
um, is more fantasy than love. Okay, what about the single ladies? Mm, heartbreak. Ladies heartbreak. So it could be really more fantasy going on than love. Because really you have to let go here. Coupled one. Uh huh, guys. This is the same card there. Then uh, above here with the health, two area is the same like the two of pentacles. Yeah. Also with your love, maybe there is romantic one day, maybe there is um, insecurity the other day. So you really have to call the angels, make the affirmations. It's up to you here. But the tendency is really totally unstable here. I don't know. It's just in the middle. And not really, nothing is really going on. This is like actually somebody waiting, waiting, waiting for the ship to come or something. Or just, you know, um, meditating here more. Yeah. This is what I see here. Single man, single man. Mm -hmm. You're on fire. <laughs> You're on fire. Okay. And you have opportunities to really find very good um, women or men, yeah? Again, it doesn't matter if homosexual, black or white or whatever, or <laughs> from, from, from wherever you, you are and from Mars or from any kind of um, place in this world. I don't care. <laughs> this is just like for the single man, yeah? Okay. Here we go with the people in your surrounding. In general, again, they can be just everywhere here. And we have the Queen Gabriel. And if she's a friend, she, she can be really a cool friend. That you really can, uh, you know, have adventures here with her. You can really go, go for parties with her. She's very interested in a lot of stuff. And so that can be a fire sign. But it's not necessary that she's a fire sign. She can be also, um, she, she can have a lot of fire in her um, chart. Okay. In her astrological, uh, in her natal chart. And um, yeah, but basically this is just the energy of an Aries, um, of a Leo or what else? Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. And you can really, you know, they're very passionate about everything what they're doing. So um, when you work with her, that could be just very, very nice to work with her because uh, she maybe has really uh, passionate ideas and she really would like to, would love to reach some goals here in this business also. And uh, they're, you know, very optimistic persons also. And um, when you really would like to have, um, yeah, some, some laughter, some action and stuff, that these are really the, the best persons. Okay, and also very passionate and also, you know, for any kind of uh, dating here or stuff. Um, just very, very nice and interesting people. The point is just um, for, the, for the coupled ones, the coupled ones here in the love, they are just working maybe on the relationships here. I see it a lot. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, <laughs> we go now to the last part of the month. We have here in your hell, something is really moving here and this is very, very cool and positive. So, um, yeah, w wherever you're standing with your health, you maybe keep on moving here again and try to move. Okay. For those who are really very sick, you try to move, you try everything, but you have to be patient here a lot really patient and make those little steps here this is very important for the other ones guys when you are just in um in a good health for example then stuff is really moving here or you are moving that could be also the case you are moving uh, to any kind of hospital to any kind of um different um space maybe to a different country or to maybe you know go to the ocean because the air is better to breathe and stuff like that it could be also the case that you're just moving somewhere to it or just move like for th uh, three three weeks or something like that in a kind of hospital or stuff like this that could be also the case um for the healthy ones it could be just more sports and more movement here yeah but it's a positive card i see it very positively here for you 
uh, in the job, um, we have a very stable fundament. That's, that's very positive. This is just good money. This is just uh, when you are um, an, an employee in, in a firm or something, that just means that um, you you are very stable there and you will keep on working there. And if, if you're self-employed, then everything with money and everything what you do here is on a very stable ground. That looks very good here with just money and work. We have here um, the little projects, 18 the moon. Mm -hmm. You are afraid. So actually, oh my gosh, you had here really this uh, thoughts going on. And then here there are unclarities going on. For the pregnant people here, <laughs> pregnant ladies, that means here the world, all that could be that you re really feel free and 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 really on a good track here with your pregnancy again. Yeah, even if it's maybe not so clear what's going on here. But it really looks very, very good. Yeah, <laughs> everything is very nice, very nice. So you don't need to suffer here. And um, for everybody who is creative, creative, yeah, you are just very much on fire here for your project that you're doing. You're very much on fire with the project that you're doing and you maybe feel a little bit, a bit like stuck because you really have to keep on working here for that. To really have this um, level that you actually wish to have. Yeah, but uh, still you are very much on fire and you really could keep on going and that's that's a good sign. For the little money, mm -hmm. you just enjoy everything what you have and you are, you are just stable financially. This is very, very cool. Yeah. And for charity, you can really trust the organization where you're in or the, on, or, or the stuff that you are um, doing here. In your love life, oh, you reach a higher ground here. This is just a higher level in something. And this card is just uh, talking about or just uh, falling into your love life here. Okay, so in this spread. And um, that just means, mm -hmm, what about for the single ladies? You are afraid to get hurt here, but you guys, you really have to let go of thoughts, let go of ideas, let go of any kind of moral blah, 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 which is what actually somebody was just telling you. Maybe all that bullshit is not true, but you really have to analyze that on your own, that you don't feel so, um, um, so afraid here. This is really what I see. Okay. If you blame somebody for, for example, for any kind of stuff, is it really that what's in this person or is maybe something in yourself too, which you just hide from yourself and from the others? Okay. This, these are just very important questions to really make this thing here going on, to really let go of something and to really be more happy here. Okay. What about when you analyze the situation better, what you have to let go? Okay. You will be sad. It's a sadness, but uh, but really believe me, when you just cry it out and you really heal from, from that wounds and stuff, um, then you will be much more better than that really on this defending stuff. Maybe you really have to defend yourself from the wrong persons. Okay, I see. Yeah, we have to. Of course, not everybody can just come into our lives. No. And of course, it's good to have, you know, standards and to really have um, ideas about stuff, really. But I think the issue is really here. What are, what are really things that are also, with, yeah, that are also real inside of myself and what's really the stuff of the other person? I think this, is, this could be really the question here for you, dear Libra women, right? Uh, single ladies. Okay. What about the single man now? single man mm, yeah you're fighting here maybe for a lady and um, there are also other men <laughs> and you're fighting oh, how are you feeling uh-huh you don't feel so good in that i can imagine right <laughs> when you like somebody somebody interesting who uh, whoever and uh, there are also other uh, men who are interested and you know and you are fighting <laughs> um your chances 
you all have really the chance to find somebody for a very, very new and whole future and very good for a very positive future. The point is just must. Um, is it really worth to fight for maybe a woman who everybody is fighting for? Right. Maybe then you, I don't know, you you are out with her and uh, she just um, is talking bullshit the whole evening or you just have, uh, for example, sex with her and um, nothing is really like <laughs> going on there. I mean, this is this is really the question here. You have really good chances, my dear uh, single man. But the point is just, um, is it really worth to take some, some, so much time and so much effort into the wrong direction? This is also coming me here. This is, this is also so, so interesting in life. I mean, we just think like, I, I just like uh, type A. I just like this um, big uh, brown Latino guy or somebody, whatever. And then comes somebody blonde. And then, then you fall for the blonde and then, then you really don't understand this world anymore. <laughs> you know what? So I would really recommend here to really check out what could be your happy future and with whom and is it really worth to? This is just what's coming me here also. What about the coupled ones? Mm Yeah. I think you keep on um you keep on going this work here. You really keep on going this work here. Maybe also for the children. Okay, you really feel like you want to defend yourself here too because there are also some 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 stuff happened. Yeah, this is what I see also. Maybe somebody is helping you guys to really solve those, those issues. But I have the feeling that you actually have good chances to, to um, you know, to reach some, some more ro um, romantic feelings uh, again and, and some more passion. And maybe this is, that's, that, that can be really a very good beginning for um, some new passion inside of this relationships chip but you really have to keep on t um, going together and really decide to be together and to um, to live that together and not to search other other persons in a way or something really stick together this is really the message and really work the problems also and talk about just everything that makes sad or something there's also that what's coming me here. That can be for some of you. For 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 those of you who um, what's actually not 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 the issue here. But I really see other persons, other persons. And really, being afraid that you get hurt again. Maybe this. That can be um, also an issue to really talk about, um, yeah, other women in this life here or just um, in, um, who are just involving in your life here. Or maybe really another woman is coming in into, into this, um, into you guys or whatever and is just disturbing the relationship in a way. That could be also the case. Yeah. These are just the tendencies for all Libras, all right? Just check out also your yeah, ascendant sign and your moon sign. But I see really this keep, keep on working here for you guys. Okay, so people surrounding you, oh, they can be, you know, explosive, those persons here in a way. But they can be re very much like um, setting themselves free. They want to set themselves free. I don't know who is this. Maybe somebody's just feeling a little bit like, um, yeah, because you you single Libras here, you have to let go also of something. But this this letting go is actually for all of you here. Okay, maybe the couple once has to has also to uh, let go some control in the relationship. That could be also the case, right? And the people they just want to break free here. That could be partners. 
they need some more air to breathe. I see that a lot here. Okay, good. Thank you for watching. Hi everybody, surprise! <laughs> so um, that's me, that's the first time I'm here in front of a camera for you on my channel. Um, if you are um, for a long time now here and uh, you are watching uh, my videos, I would really really would like to thank you a lot too uh, for staying, for watching, for liking and for subscribing to my channel, okay? And if, one, if you are new to my channel, then also also please subscribe then you get all the information about um, new videos new services and all that stuff and I promise you um, it's not gonna be boring here not at all there will be some music there will be some makeup stuff and but you know not in this uh, mainstream way just um, very alternative in a way so this is just something else maybe <laughs> but uh, just stay tuned and i'm also doing private readings if you would like to have a private reading with me then please send me just a personal message my email address is just standing below here in the text i'm working for many years with the tarot cards um for over 10 years just for, for myself then the cards just started being uh, just like friends in a way okay <laughs> and um, then for friends as well and for, for people that I know and now I made a schooling and now um, yeah I'm a professional uh, card reader so you can just ask me your stuff and I'm doing it in combination with a uh, numerology with astrology with a human design just in a way that it just makes sense for you you know not every mix of all systems makes sense but I try to really give you the best answer that you can get in this moment I hope and to really um, help you from the bottom of my heart okay so just write me and if you have no problems oh that's very cool then you can just enjoy my films <laughs> just enjoy the weather outside i hope you will have the best weather you can have you know in the place you are staying i'm here in switzerland so it's still nice autumn <laughs> but anyway so um yeah thank you a lot and till the next one bye